everybody, BrickLover18 here today, and right now you're looking at this 2x4 LEGO brick. Now this is actually just a regular storage brick, you know, that LEGO sells in many different stores and things like that. You know, you can store whatever you want in it. Today, I'm going to show you what I store in mine. It's something pretty special, that, to me anyway. It's what I call my LEGO vault. Now by vault, I know a lot of people mean they have like a closet with they put a bunch of sets that are going to go way up in value later on, tuck it away for investment purposes and never open it. That's kind of what this is, but it's a little different. Mainly all everything inside here is not really rare or super hard to find. It's just stuff that I might have extras of or that I might not want to open at this time and I know I don't want to open it, so I put it in this box. So now I'm just going to show you some of the things that are inside. First off, we better take off the lid. So there you go, as you can see, you just sort of all the different things that I have in it right now. And I'm gonna show you each individual thing and just kind of say why I have in there maybe, I guess. I don't know. So first up, I have a couple of these BrickLover18 magnets. Now I ordered 10 of these and I gave a lot of them away in a couple orders. So that's what I kind of just use them for. If somebody that I know from YouTube orders for me or something like that, I'll include one of these magnets in your order just for fun. I had nowhere really else to put them, so I decided I'd put them here. Here I have a couple of these LEGO Movie stickers. These came out when the LEGO Movie did, like way back in 2014. They're pretty cool stickers, like they're holograms. They came in like LEGO Shop at Home Orders. So I have a couple of those. I think there's only two in this bin, but they're pretty cool, so wanted to keep them. Here I have three LEGO calendars. These are actually three that I didn't quite sell. So I already have hung enough in my LEGO room. So I just have these three kind of in the bin. So something here that is a little more rare is a Series 10 LEGO minifigure and that is 100% sealed. I actually got this back in like whenever these came out. So I guess in maybe 2013. I guess it was 2013 I got this. Lego actually, I bought a librarian. The book for the librarian was actually broken, so I contacted Lego and they sent me out a figure. So since then, I just have actually never opened it up, and I, I think I felt it. I think I know which one it is. I don't think it's Mr. Gold, but I just I haven't really wanted to open it up because I think it's a little, it's a lot cooler just keeping it sealed. Next up in this bin, I have a couple Ghost Treat machines from the Brick Loot box. As you know, I just concluded a giveaway for these Ghost Treats machine. I have a couple extra here, so there's going to be another giveaway at some point. Some more Brick Lover 18 merchandise here. As you can see, these are all things that I custom made by myself. So here we have these 2x4 Brick Lover 18 tiles for your brick badge, as well as these 1x8 BrickLover18.com bricks for your brick badge. So I have a couple of these here, and again, I send these out, I take these to conventions with me, and I give them out like if somebody from YouTube orders from my BrickLink store or something like that. Here I have a couple SWAT team LEGO minifigures. So this is a custom minifigure I made a long time ago and I actually tried to sell. Sales did not go over well and I kind of, at the time I was like wondering why but now looking back and looking at the figure I don't really blame why sales weren't going well. As you can see each one there was custom painted. I was pretty proud of them at the time. So I have five here all you know custom packaging and stuff like that and someday I'm predicting these are going to go like way up in value. They're probably going to be like a hundred dollars I think. I'm completely just kidding. So here I have this poly bag and it is the Statue of Liberty poly bag. It's a pretty cool poly bag. This is, I have three of them total, one opened, one sealed in my BrickLink store and then this one here. So depending on when you're watching this, I may only have two, but it's a great poly bag. I really love it. Another CMF here, I actually have a Series 11 minifigure. Again, this is a sealed figure. I'm not sure why I have a sealed one of the series, but I know I do, so that's pretty cool. Here I have this Knight's Kingdom poly bag. This is an older poly bag, like it's not very rare or anything like that, but still a pretty cool poly bag. It doesn't really fit the theme of stuff that I have in my leg room, so that's why I never opened it, but it's still such a cool bag, there's no way I'm going to sell it. Here I have this little keychain that usually was on clearance from like Lego, Lego stores, Lego shop at home and things like that for like $4.99. Pretty cool keychain, would never put this on my bag or anything like that just, just because, but I like the build so I still bought it while it was on clearance. I just found I have another Ghost Treats machine there. 
Here I have a Lego salt and pepper shaker. I bought this a little while back. I actually bought two sets, one for me and one for my grandma who collects salt and pepper shakers. She's got a, quite a large collection of them, so I bought her that as kind of a cool gift. I actually never opened my set yet. I may or I may not someday. This is pretty cool. I have these two Brick Arms offensive combat packs. They have a bunch of different weapons in each pack there. They've never been opened. They're sealed. Pretty cool. I got them on GIBrick.com. And if anybody's ever looking for any Brick Arms or things like that, I can actually buy them for you at a 10% all-time rate. So just contact me or email me if you're interested in that. Next up is this poly bag. It's at number 30313. I actually originally won this poly bag, the one I built from Buildmeister in a giveaway on Instagram. And then since then I actually got two for Christmas. So I think I sold one and I have this one here just because it's such a cool poly bag. The one I got from Buildmeister, I built and like put it in my city and things like that. But this one I got for Christmas, I just still kept sealed because it's a cool bag. This next set here is set number 6006, this Lego City Elite Police, you know, ATV chase. It's a pretty cool set. I think I had like three or four of these just because I really like the different pieces and stuff that it came with. Next up here is set number 40090, this bat. So I actually bought this bat from Talk at Philly Brickfest. She gave me a really awesome deal. So I got two of them. I built one of them and I have this one sealed. I just want to keep it, you know, with all my parts because it's a pretty cool bat. Really like this set. Here I have another Star Wars keychain, or another keychain, and this time it is a Star Wars one. So this one is Anakin Skywalker. Pretty cool, pretty cool keychain. I have another box set and then it's set number 4427, this Fire ATV. I had a couple of these. I built one and I wanted to keep the other one sealed because, again, it's a pretty cool set. I have this Lego wrapping paper that was on clearance a little while back in Lego Shop at Home. They no longer make it anymore, but it was just so cool. I never actually wanted to open it. I just love the look of it. I have this space set here. Set number 338. 3365, sorry, the space buggy. Again, I had one of these. I built it. Really like this set, and I don't want to part with my sealed copy. And the last thing in this vault is this Lego Star Wars cup that I actually found at my Walmart for something like a dollar. I thought it was too cool to pass up on at the time, but because I'm not a big fan of Star Wars and I'm not going to like drink out of a cup like this, I thought I'd just put it in my vault. Thanks everybody so much for watching this video. I really did hope you enjoyed. Let me know down below if you have a box or a bin or a closet or a drawer or something like that where you store a bunch of Lego things that you find really cool and you want to keep, you know, sealed or hidden or just want to kind of forget that you have and then a little later on you can open up and be like, wow, I forgot I had this. This is, as I said, it's not like a typical vault some people might have where they're trying to keep stuff that'll go up in value. My vault is just basically things that I like that I just don't really need out at this time or that I want to keep hidden or sealed so I hide it so I don't open it and things like that. So again, don't forget to let me know down below if you have anything like this in your LEGO room or in your LEGO collection. Again, thanks so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed.